Now the drawing's done, we want to mix the colours. And I want some colours for the petals. So I want the front petals going to be yellow. A nice strong yellow, that's just the cadmium. And the back petals will be mostly phthalo blue. And permanent rose. And I'll add some water to that to make the petals paler. Right, so I've got my colours ready. I'll start with the uh, yellow petal. And while that's damp, I'm going to drop a little bit of the violet in just to give it that nice beard. And a little bit stronger, I'll mix some more of that violet colour. Same two colours, but less less water in it, so it's just a bit more powerful. While it's damp, just put that in while it's wet. Remember, this doesn't want to be too watery, otherwise it can cauliflower and bloom. That's okay. Now, I can't paint those other petals until this yellow one's dried, but I can paint the leaves. So this is the lighter of the two greens I've mixed. And while that's damp, I'll drop in a little bit of the darker colour, just here and there, just under the edge on that one, and under the top edge on the other one. The one underneath that's got a fold in it, it's slightly bent, I'll darken the underside of this once this is dried. I don't want to put that in while it's wet, otherwise the darker colour can seep into the, the lighter bit. I want a hard edge to separate the underside from the top side of that, of that leaf. Now the bottom petal's dried, and I can now put the, the top petals in. Now if these are both the same colour, then I can paint them all as one block and then separate them afterwards. If they were different colours, then I would stop at that line, but I can just keep on going. Because they're both going to be pretty much the same colour, but one of them I will darken to make it stand out. And I want to just leave a little bit of yellow, uh, sorry, a little bit of white there so that I can drop some yellow into that in the same way that I dropped the violet into the yellow. I want to drop some yellow into the violet while it's damp. Wash the brush thoroughly and quickly just touch that in. And when you drop the colour in, sometimes you can pick up some of the the, the darker colour so you need to be careful that you don't take that darker colour into the yellow. So wash the brush, pick up some more yellow. And just let that spread out a little bit. So that yellow that I put on wasn't too watery, it was fairly thick. While that's drying, I can paint the stem with the same pale green. 
and a little bit of darker green just under the petal there, a little bit of shadow that the petal is casting over the stem, just a little bit of dark there. Now these petals have dried, I can use the flat brush to lift out the stem. Now I'm lifting out the veins and uh, sometimes you just have to go over a couple of times to get the colour to come off. Just rub it gently backwards and forwards. And I'll lift out a few little bits of a few highlights, a few shiny bits. Just on the lower part of the leaf. And slightly darker colour underneath this lower leaf. Just darken underneath there. The bottom side of the underside of the leaf is in shadow. The top side of the, the leaf is catching the light. Just a few little bits there on the top side. Now I want to separate those two petals using some more of the violet that I put on. So I'll darken this petal to the right, just where they meet, and a little bit into the petal. And soften that with a damp brush. Soften the edge so we don't get a hard line there. And that brings this petal forward. And on the other petal, underneath that fold. Just darken that and then with a damp brush soften the bottom edge. Now I want to put a few folds in those petals as well and some darker bits. Stronger violet. Using the tip of the brush, not very wet paint. And a few darker bits on these. Darken a little bit on there too. Okay, just a few folds in those petals. Not too wet. And add a tiny amount of violet to the yellow to get a darker yellow. Tiny bit, not much, otherwise you get a brown. And that gives us the folds on those petals. Just darken underneath there a little bit more. And the final touch is just to put a tiny bit of dark colour right in the middle, right in the centre here. Well, there we are. We've learnt some very interesting and useful techniques painting pansies. Pansies are a wonderful flower to do. They come in lots of different colours and different shapes. So why not have a go painting lots of them, perhaps as greetings cards, and you'll find the last ones you do in particular will be really good. You'll be really surprised. So have a go. Have some fun.
now available on DVD. Try these techniques yourself at home whenever you wish. Today's workshop is part of the Watercolour as if by Magic Beginners course. Six fantastic 20-minute workshops on DVD, now available to order from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.